I'm Joel, and welcome to Keep Your Enemies Close, the show where best friends get to take part in some amazing challenges. But not all the challenges will be alongside each other. Oh no, they'll be ruthlessly mixed up and forced to play alongside their enemies. Could you turn your enemy into a frenemy? Let's meet the four pairs of best friends who are willing to do just that and put their friendship on the line. They're all in The Mixer. First up are Jasmine and Shanice from Swindon. Then Alfie and Kit from Twickenham. Grace and Maddie from Camberley. And Jeremy and Fraser from Uxbridge. We've met the best friends, but what makes them tick? This is Shanice and she's my best friend. This is Jad and she's also my best friend. We're both 11. We love playing football together. <laughs> and we're both goalies. Shanice annoys me quite a lot because she always forgets to tell me things. She remembers a bit too much. It's a bit of pain in the neck for me because I have to look up a lot. We're gonna win because we're the best. Better than all the rest. This is Alfie. Hi. And this is Kit. Hi. I have a really annoying habit of biting my nails and now it virtually looks like I don't have any left now. It's gross. I support Manchester United. I support the almighty Hotspur. Hot. Yeah, right. I also play for a football team. I'd like to play for the football team. Yeah, he, he would be good in that team. Alfie oh, gets all worked up about um, shooting and scoring and he misses the ball. Oh, We're doing, doing this for Twickenham! This is Maddie, my best friend. This is Grace, my best friend. We've always been friends since I was born. <laughs> and me. We've been together for 12 years. Grace is really fun. She's really energetic and really happy. Grace has got such an annoying habit. When she works, she always sticks her tongue out and when she concentrates, she's like... But still, you always twitch your nose like this when you're working. Yeah, but I can't help it. It's my habit. So it's mine. We, we are, are the best because we work together as a team. team. I'm Jeremy and I'm 11 years old. Hey, my name's Fraser and I'm 11 years old. I first met Fraser when I was in year three. I met Jeremy when I was in year three. We think we're going to be a great pair because we're good friends. In year six, I brought a trolley in and me and Jeremy riding in it and um, we got told off. Oh. We're in the talent show. we done a rap called Stop Smoking. Oh, there's chokers to start smoking. We won in the talent show because we're the best. We're going to win because we've got the stamina. Yeah, I know, isn't it? Come on, Fraser, we're going to win. What a lovely bunch of best friends they are. But they better not rely on each other too much because all too soon the mixer will be tearing them apart. More about that later. It's now time to put the best friends through the first and possibly last challenge they'll face together. Here, not only will they gain a psychological advantage, they'll also gain a unique reward. This, the hand of friendship. If any of the best friends make it to the final, that could be the difference between winning and losing. But who will grab the hand of friendship? Let's find out as we play this. Tube Strike. This is Tube Strike. These are massive inflatable tubes powered by best friends. He'll be able to see just how well they work together as they've got to navigate across some pretty tricky terrain. They'll start in one corner, they'll then roll to the opposite corner, flip up their tube and try and strike down their team-coloured target. Only once that's hit the floor can they then roll back into the middle, flip up their tube once more and try and burst the one and only big red winning balloon. A big bang here will mean a big victory, plus the hand of friendship. Keep your friends close! All four pairs are steaming in! The Silvers, Alfie and Kip have broken free. Oops. Jasmine and Shanice in the blues. And oops again. Silver down, purple down. It's a sprint finish between Grace and Maddie in the purples and Alfie and Kip in the silvers. And purple pop. Grace and Maddie. Congratulations, it's like you've just won the World Cup. Let's take a look at that again. Synchronised target hitting, but Purple's got vertical quicker than the Silvers. Bang! Grace and Maddie, come on out here. 
that was so close between you and the silvers. Did you have a tactic? Yeah. Yeah. It was to sprint at the beginning, then crawl on the things, and then. Cool. It was a very effective tactic, and you've won this. This is the hand of friendship. Now, this could be the difference between winning and losing if, and it is a massive if at this stage, you make it to the final. Are you going to go all the way? Yeah, yeah. all the way. Very soon you're going to be split up. As the best friends, we're we'll playing against each other. This is a show with a difference, but the rules are simple. <laughs> Before each challenge, the mixer will mix up the best friends to create new pairs of frenemies, two people who don't know each other. The frenemies will have to put any differences aside and work together in order to win. After each challenge, the losing pair will be eliminated and sent back to the mixer and locked down. So four pairs become three, then three become two, until only one pair remain. The winning pair of frenemies split and release their best friends from lockdown. Reunited, they will face the final to win. Keep your enemies close. So, even if one best friend is eliminated, it's not completely over, as the other best friend has to keep on winning and winning and winning in order to get them back in time for the final. But to get that far, they're going to have to work pretty closely with some enemies. So, let's crank it up. The first pair of frenemies out the mixer is Fraser and Jasmine. Then it's Shanice and Kip. Next up is Alfie and Maddie. And finally, it's Grace and Jeremy. The mixer has cranked it up and created our first pairs of frenemies. But how will they get on? Do they have any differences? Let's investigate. Right, first we've got Jasmine and Fraser. Now, Fraser could have a superpower, it'd be the power to fly. That's pretty useful. Jasmine, however, she'd have the power to turn everything she touched green. Because this T-shirt this morning was blue, she touched it, and now it's green. I don't want a green T-shirt. Right, then we've got Shanice and Kip. If Shanice could be a celebrity for the day, it would be pink, because she's a great singer and not so girly. Whereas Kip would like to be Jack Black, because he's funny. Would Jack Black make Pink laugh? Interesting. Then we've got Alfie and Maddie. Now, Alfie's favourite subjects at school are play, lunch and second play. They're, they're not subjects, they're just parts of the day. Whereas Maddie's favourite subjects are a little more academic. She likes PE, dance and music. Will these guys get on? I don't know. OK, and finally, we've got Grace and Jeremy. It really annoys Grace when boys take things without asking. The boys do. <laughs> Look at that, he really doesn't like it. Whereas Jeremy, do you know what annoys him about girls? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> He's the leader's man. All right. Well, remember, one pair of frenemies will be eliminated as we play this. Air pressure. Here, the frenemies will be using powerful blowers to go up, down, left and right. Now, in this challenge arena are nine balls. The objective is to blow as many balls into your opponent's gutter as possible, while still trying to keep your gutter clear. Now, the pair of frenemies with the most amount of balls in their gutters at the end will be eliminated. Frenemies, I bid you good luck. And remember, to keep your enemies close. 45 seconds on the clock. A good tactic is to concentrate on one ball at a time and keep on blowing it. Great gutter defending from Shanice, which sends the first ball into Maddie and Alfie's gutter. But two have sneaked into Kip and Shanice's gutter, expertly blown by Jeremy and Grace. Alfie and Maddie's gutter has three, and so does Shanice and Kip's. A disaster! A fourth ball has gone into Alfie and Maddie's gutter. <laughs> OK, that's it, guys. Time's up. Let's have a look at your gutters. So, Grace and Jeremy, you've got no balls in your gutter. Jasmine and Fraser, no balls in your gutter. 
Alfie and Maddie, you've got one, two, three, four balls in your gutter. Shanice and Kip, you've got three balls in your gutter. Successful frenemies, if you'd like to head back to the mixer. But for you guys, let's have a look at where it went wrong. Maddie and Alfie's gutter was getting blown from all sides. They just couldn't turn defence into offensive and ended up with a cluttered gutter. Right, so, Maddie and Alfie, you ended up with four balls on your side, which means you have been temporarily eliminated. It's the blame game. Whose fault? Our enemies. Your enemies' fault? Yeah. They, as soon as they come towards you, you can't get rid of them. Well, at the moment, you have been eliminated. There's a long way to go yet. Your best friends are still in. Can they win you back? Yeah, yeah definitely. Positively. Well, for the moment, you're headed to lockdown. <laughs> Alfie, for the moment, it's lights out and lockdown. <laughs> oh, Maddie, the blowing thing. And the same applies for you. For the moment, though, it's lights out and lockdown. Only six players remain. Let's crank it up once more. The first pair of frenemies out of the mixer is Grace and Jasmine. Next up is Fraser and Kip. And finally, it's Shanice and Jeremy. Alfie and Maddie will be residing in lockdown, relying on their best friends to win them back in time for the final. So let's see what the mix has done now. What pairings has he put together? First, we've got Grace and Jasmine. Now, if Grace could be a celebrity, it would be Barney Harwood, because she likes to play pranks on people. Jasmine, she'd like to be Chelsea footballer John Terry. Well, will Jasmine will be able to lead the team to victory remains to be seen. And we've got Fraser and Kip. Now, if Fraser could take one thing to a desert island, it would be water. That's practical. Whereas Kip would take water, but it would be flavoured water. Which maybe suggests that, that Kip likes to add a bit of flavouring to his life. Well, all they have the uh, taste of victory in their mouths at the end of this remains to be seen. And finally, we've got Jeremy and Shanice. Now, Shanice reckons boys wind her up a lot. but. Apparently, Jeremy, again, nothing annoys him about girls. Not a thing. Will that change by the end of the day? OK, remember, one pair of frenemies will be eliminated as we play this. Puzzle panic. If the frenemies get puzzled and panic, they could be eliminated. All they've got to do is complete this hand puzzle. But there's a twist. They have to do it whilst on their back and on wheels, so their vision will be completely skewed because all the pieces from the puzzle will be above them. The last pair of frenemies to complete the puzzle will be eliminated. Good luck, and remember, keep your enemies close! Starting with the outer edge pieces will give the teams a solid foundation to then slot the larger pieces into the middle. Denise and Jeremy in the centre are trying two pieces at once. Alfie on the right has taken a puzzle piece underneath the grid. Oops. Grace and Jasmine have only two pieces left. Grace and Jasmine have only one piece remaining, and they've done it. They just need to flip it up the other way, and they're in. Last one, last one. And Shanice and Jeremy, out of nowhere, have caught up. It's down to the final piece. Grace and Jasmine have done it. Shanice and Jeremy in the centre have one awkward piece left to slot in, but they're really struggling with it. One piece each. It looks like Shanice and Jeremy are going to nick it. You cracked it. Well done. Right, Fraser and Kip, you didn't complete it. You were so close. Let's just have a look at where it went wrong. 
Kip and Fraser got confused and turned their final piece the wrong way up, which cost them dearly. Whose fault was it? Was anyone's fault? No, no, really. we just didn't communicate. Because we got this piece all... We thought it was the other way around, so we had, kept so having we to change it. it around. And it was the wrong way. Fraser, you're still in with the shout of getting to the final. You've got to rely on Jeremy to bring you back. Can he do it? Um, I think he can, actually. You think he can? Yeah. But, Kip, you and Alfie have been eliminated. You did well, but just not well enough. So, Fraser, it's lights out and lockdown. Unfortunately for you, Kip, and for Alfie, it's permanent elimination. There's four players remaining. Let's mix it up. The first pair of frenemies out the mixer is Jeremy and Jasmine. And finally, they'll be facing Shanice and Grace. So, unfortunately, Alfie and Kip will be residing in lockdown permanently, but for Maddie and Fraser, they'll be relying on their best friends to win them back in for the final. So, what's the mix of been up to? Let's see. Let's see the pairings he's put together. Well, first, we've got Jeremy and Jasmine. Now, Jasmine thinks boys don't talk much or don't communicate enough. Have you met me? I've been wittering on the whole day. But again, I want to remind you that nothing annoys Jeremy about girls. Nothing gets to him. Surely, Jeremy, still, still no? No, he's still, he, he's still a leader's man. And finally, we've got Shanice and Grace. Shanice is not really a risk taker. She likes to play it safe. But Grace is all about the risk. Uh-oh, I sense some friction here. I sense a lot of friction. But for Shanice and Jasmine, they're guaranteed a place in the final. But who will be joining them? Let's find out as we play this. Push on through. This is push on through. In this wall are 22 yellow rods and 22 red rods. And the aim is to push as many of your frenemy coloured rods through to the opponent's side as possible within 60 seconds. But what tactic will you go for? Will you go for the attacking option or will you go for the defensive option? Now, Jasmine and Shanice, you're already through to the final. But for Grace and Jeremy, you might have to get your frenemy to work extra hard. We know what's at stake. Now, Jeremy and Jasmine, you'll be pushing through the red rods. And Shanice and Grace, you'll be pushing through the yellow rods. And the pair of frenemies with the most of their coloured rods on the opponent's side wins. And you know what you win? You win your best friend back and a place in the final. Good luck. And remember to keep your enemies close. <laughs> A good tactic is for one person to block rods while the other concentrates on pushing them through. Interestingly, Jasmine is carefully plugging up holes. She knows rods in the wall aren't counted. And now she's batting her own reds through. Clever. <laughs> On the right-hand side, Shanice and Grace are really covering some ground. And now most rods are out the wall. It's all about winning those personal battles. Remember, the rods have to go all the way through. It's real to and fro. Oh, Jeremy, ouch! Five, four, three, two, one, stop pushing! Right, guys, come up here. Come on, join me up here. Don't look. Right, we're going to have a look at a replay while we count them up and see who's made it through to the final, but it looks really close. Shanice went low and jumped high. Jasmine plugged those holes. An amazing double from Grace, and Jeremy blocks with his head. Guys, it was really, really close. I'm just going to say to you now, the ones in the wall do not count. They have to be completely pushed through. So one team pushed through 19 rods, the other pushed through 21 rods. There's only two rods in it. I can say the winner is... It's Jeremy and Jasmine by two rods. So, Sh Shanice, if you'd like to join Jasmine over this side, you did really well. Grace, just two rods in it. 
How, how do you feel? Gutted. You did really well, unlucky. It's lights out for Grace and the hand of friendship. But for you guys, victory and a place in the final. Well, Jeremy, you've won Fraser back, which means lights on, out the mixer and back in for the final. So, join your friends. It's good to see that you're all back together. Shanice, Jasmine, is it just not the same playing with other people? Do you have to be together? You have to be together, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Now, Jeremy and Fraser, you're also back together. Do you work really well as a team? Yeah. yeah what is it about you as a team? Um, well, we always help each other yeah. and make mistakes. And we always communicate. And... Well, communication and working together will be vital as we play this. OK, best friends, this is it. This is the final. On this grid are the words, keep your enemies close final. There are 15 different letters in those words. A letter will be lit up and a category will be given. You'll then have to come up with two correct answers, starting with that letter from that category. For example, if the letter was C and the category was country, your answers could be China and Canada. There are loads of different answers that you could have. Two correct answers will send your enemies along that track closer to those shoots up there. Shoots filled with horrible, slimy, disgusting clag. You really want to lag behind the clag. But if you fail to give me two correct answers, then you yourself move along the track. You'll have five seconds to give me two correct answers. This is the sound you'll hear when time is up. Your aim is to get your enemies to that clag barrier right there, where the losers will be covered in horrible clag. But the winners will be covered in the feeling of glory. Does everyone understand the rules? Yep. yep. Let battle commence. Jeremy Fraser, you're up first. Your letter is... R. Category. Animal or bird. Time Thank starts you. now. Thank, Thank you. you. And... Uh, red breast. What? That's a bird, isn't it? Rottweiler! Rottweiler! Just out of time there. And we can't give you red breast. The full name is Robin Redbreast. The rules are oh. tight. Unlucky. Rottweiler. And Rottweiler was just out of time. So for Jasmine and Shanice, it's a good start for you. Are you ready for your letter? Your letter is M. Category British town or city. Time starts now. Manchester. Time's up. You gave me Manchester. If you'd followed that up with one more, like Maidstone or Motherwell, it would have been good. Boys, you got off there. Jeremy and Fraser, are you ready? Yeah. Your letter is... L. Category. British League football team. Time starts now. Lancaster. Lancaster is not a football team. You could have had Leeds United, Liverpool or Leicester City. There's plenty more you're probably thinking, ah! Jeremy and Fraser, you move along that track. Now Jasmine and Shanice, you ready? Your letter is... R. Category. Girl's name. Time starts now. Rhiannon. Rebecca. Rihanna and Rebecca, two correct answers, which means Jeremy and Fraser, you're heading ever closer to the shoots of Clag. You need to get a correct answer. Are you ready? Your letter is... I. Category. British town or city. Time starts now. That is hard. That is hard. That's hard. I learned... <laughs> Ireland is a country. You could have had Ipswich, oh, Ilford, <laughs> Ilfracombe. There's loads. Oh, Ilkwee. I've never heard of this. Yeah, you need to get out more then, Jeremy. You're heading closer to the Clag Barrier. The tension is building. Are you ready? Your letter is E. Category: Animal or Bird. Time starts now. Emu. Um, Eagle. 
It's two correct answers, which means, Jeremy and Fraser, if you don't get this right, you'll be covered in horrible clag head to toe. You need to get this right. Are you ready? Yeah. Your letter is... S. Category. Boys' names. Time starts now. Samuel! Stephen! Samuel and Stephen is two correct answers. You're literally back on track. But... <laughs> Jasmine and Shanice, if you get this right, you've earned the right to send them right through that clag barrier. Are you ready? <laughs> Your letter is... O. Category. Food. Time starts now. Orange. Onion. Orange and onion is good. Which means, boys, you're sent through, smashing through the clad barrier. Jasmine and Shanice, you've done so well. Do you want to say anything to your enemies before you send them in? Mean Grumpy! Well, you are. That's me. Small in stature, yeah. massive in voice. Send them in! Do not send them in! Jeremy! <laughs> Jeremy! Jeremy! <laughs> How was that, boys? You are a bomb! <laughs> Hi, David. What do you want to say to the girls? I'm going to get you now. I'm going to hug them. I'm going to go hug them. <laughs> Not now. Let's have a look at that again. <laughs> Shanice and Jasmine, you've proved that you are the best of friends. What's been your highlights of today? Uh, tube, tube strike. Why was that? Because our tube would have been... <laughs> that was, despite it not being able to move, you still enjoyed it? Yeah. It's kind of stationary tube striking, if you will. Well, you're well deserving of our solid silver, keep your enemies close medallions. A right and a left makes a winning pair. There's one for you, Jasmine. And guys, congratulations. So remember, to keep your enemies close, put your friends even closer. Now it's time for the second episode of New Sarah Jane Adventures, and it says here Luke, Clyde and Rani are about to fight Sarah Jane! It's outrageous. It's unbelievable. It's incredible by Valhalla. Don't you think it's a bit, bit what? weird? What are you talking about? It doesn't make sense. Have you gone insane? It's back. She's a witch in your imagination. <laughs> I'd uh, like to go on a sunbed, please. It's rather good. But I, I, I don't get it. We didn't get it. Sorry, I've got no head. The brand new series. <laughs> Today at 5.15 on the CPBC channel.